Chase, Oli Hockey with the Blue Futon. I saw a movie in the theaters called The Innocent. Are you innocent? Are you guilty? Am I saying this title right? Who knows? Will these kids survive? Shock value one. Oh, one for this movie. So let me give you the quick synopsis according to the phone, guys. Terror strikes when a group of Nortec children reveals mysterious powers that take a dark and violent turn. Violent? Eh. Dark? Yes. Shock value 101, like I said before the intro, absolutely. I'm going to give you the negatives of this movie first. I wish they dug deeper into the backstory of where these powers came from. They don't really talk about it. They just have these three kids that could randomly move stuff, control people with their minds, have people think a stick is a snake, and just do random things and have an autistic kid be able to talk, actually say words, and kind of clear her mind to make her less autistic. And they just don't explain that at all. These kids just randomly have the powers. And I'm just like, I need to know why these kids have powers. And people are calling it a superhero movie. I totally disagree. There's nothing superhero about this. This is just kids having powers. Kind of like Chronicles. But this is just more timid on some levels with, you know, lower budget. And these kids just being more down to earth and fucked up shit happening to them. Uh, they rely on shock factor with this movie. Uh... I agree and disagree with some of the shock factor because some of it is needed, but some of it you're just like, damn, do we really have to go there? I do understand that they wanted to go there to show how fucked up some of these kids are, but we need to know why some of these kids are fucked up and what's in their psyche. It really doesn't go that way. It just basically says this kid is bad. This kid is bad, but it's going to slowly turn good, which I feel like that arc should have stayed a little bit more of the dark side, but they didn't. This kid's good. This kid's good. This kid's bad. And that's really all you get to know about these kids. Yeah, you see some of their parents and what their parents are doing in their life. But none of it is justifiable for what some of these kids are doing to their parents or to these other kids, to their parents to do other stuff to them. So I just wish the backstory was a little bit more stronger and more unique of like, I need to know why the powers are there. I need to know why this kid is bad. I need to know why this kid is good. And what are we doing to try to make everything work? Because some of it doesn't. And I understand what they're trying to do, but it's a okay. The acting for these kids are absolutely fantastic. The acting with the adults are good when they're in the movie. It's mostly focused on these four kids, and all of them are extremely, extremely well-acted children. Congratulations for picking these four children. Uh, the shock factor. Let's go with the shock factor with the positives. The shock factor actually sucked me into this movie, but I was just more of like, fuck. This is really fucked up. There's a cat scene. I was like, oh my god, don't do it. And the cat scene happens. You're like, shit. Then the soccer scene, you're like, don't do it. Don't do it. And it happens. You're like, shit. There's a bridge scene. You're like, oh, where are we going with this bridge scene? And that bridge scene kind of goes into this whole thing about, you know, where are these kids at? And it really doesn't work for the punishment factor. That's all I'm going to say for there. As well as there's a scene with the mother and a kid. That's all I'm going to say at night. And you're just like, oh, we went there. We absolutely went there with that. Absolutely. Wow. Okay. Directing. This is something I haven't seen before. And they ain't scared to do that. And I think that's really smart for them to be like, no, we're going to go this way. And if you don't like it, suck it up. But we need something to have these character arcs go. And I do enjoy it. Even though it's a little inconsistent with all these kids arcs, just kind of like powers just being everywhere. And there's like, okay, I understand some of it. And I don't for some. And my arms are just going completely everywhere. But this is a very unique movie where I wasn't expecting a lot from it. I was just watching Austin Burke and they're like, oh, what about Montana's story and Innocence? I was like, oh, let me check uh, the theaters. Innocence. All right, that's playing. And I watched it. I was like, okay, this is a very different movie. But overall, I completely enjoyed it. Even though the story just wasn't there for me, I needed a bit more backstory of what these kids are doing, how they get their powers. And what is the actual goal? Because it just feels like it stops. And I just want to know why all these killings are happening in this apartment complex. And no one is like raving, waving, 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 yes. Waving that red flag of like, why are all these kids, cats, adults dying? What What's happening here? And no one just questions it. But overall, The Innocence, I enjoyed it. But man, expect fucked up shit. Oh yeah. 
so the innocents will receive a three and a half out of five of futons, which equals at 70%. So see the Kriggs news scores gave this one. Damn, you have the Kriggs a 97% with 91 of them. Audience score 72% with over 50. Here's the Kriggs consensus. The innocence chillingly subverts the purity of youth in a powerful acted thriller that lingers long after the credits roll. I will have to disagree about all wrong, long, long after the credits roll. The issue with that is, yes, it starts off with like deeply fucked up shit. You're just like, oh, if this movie's going to stay like this for the whole time, oh, it's going to fuck with my psyche. But then it kind of dies down and you're just like, oh, OK, I understand what we're doing. And that's how we're ending it. I kind of saw it coming, but I want to say it really sticks with me until the credits roll. So 97, 72, 70. Chase Sock with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the Blue Futon You Blue Tonys, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Thank you for watching these. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. I will respond as soon as possible. But hey, I will just enjoy every single one of you watching these movies. It means the world.